Welcome everybody, this is Brazilian Kitchen, my name is Pedro and I'm your host for tonight. Tonight we're going to be making coxinhas, world famous Brazilian chicken croquettes. Everybody has asked for this and this time it's coxinhas. Are you guys excited yet? Because I know I am. So the dish we're making today, you probably have heard about this. If you have had any Brazilian food whatsoever, it's probably coxinha and it's very very famous it's in every corner in Brazil you can find it in two versions either with or without cheese today we're gonna be making with cheese and this is a national favorite most people oh pretty much everybody that you ask in Brazil they're gonna love this thing and I hope you guys love it too otherwise you wouldn't be watching this so let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. Leek. Onion. Carrot. Chicken legs. Onions. Tomato sauce. Parsley. And a very special ingredient, catupiry. Flour. Butter. Parsley. We're gonna use the broth in order to give some flavor to the dough and to make the, it, your whole coxinha much better. Instead of having just a no flavor dough, we're gonna have coxinha flavored dough. So for starters, we're gonna grill the chicken into the pan. And then after that, we're gonna cover it with all the water and these ingredients right here. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the chicken with the skin here because the skin gives it gives it a great flavor but we're not gonna use the skin in the end result so I'm just gonna put it here and when the chicken is done I'm gonna remove all the skin of it When the chicken starts to get grilled like this, hopefully, you see the little brown spots here. That means it gives it a great flavor to the food. So I'm just gonna turn them and leave it here for a couple of minutes on the other side. And then I'm gonna add the other vegetables to it and water to cover. Now that the chicken has a nice color, I'm gonna start adding the other ingredients. the carrots the garlic and finally the onions I just stirred everything for a bit to make sure that everything has come into in contact with the bottom of the pan where the uh, brownness of the chicken has stuck so after this I'm just gonna add some water to it to cover everything here now it has been here on the fire for about 30 minutes so let's open and take a look how it is right now you can see how the water it's not crystal anymore. It has started to incorporate all the flavors that there is in this pot right here. So the chicken, by now it's completely done. Totally safe to eat if you guys want to. But do not waste the chicken. We're gonna use, we're gonna make some coxinhas and it's gonna be better. But if you want it to, it's ready. So the skin has begun to fall off, as you can see here. So in order to speed up the process a bit, I'm go just gonna take the chicken out and then I'm gonna start to shred it while the water is still boiling and it's still making the flavor more concentrate. Now 
Now with the help of two forks, I'm gonna shred the chicken. Before, I'm gonna remove the skin from the three pieces and then shred it. So while I'm, I'm shredding the chicken, the other pan is still in the low heat and the water is still boiling in there. So I'm just gonna leave it there while I do this. When I remove all the meat from the bone, I'm gonna return the bone to the pan because this still has a lot of chicken flavor and we want to give as much as possible into our broth. So I'm just gonna return this bone here while I do the rest. I'm also gonna add the skin back to the, to the mix in order to give it more chicken flavor. I just thought of this with the help of my director so thank you so i think i did a great job here at shredding the chicken uh if you guys like more shredded or less shredded this is up to you guys but this is how i did it and now i'm gonna turn off the the heat from the broth because now is the time we're gonna use it so now I got another pan because I'm gonna fry or, well, it's already cooked. So I'm just gonna saute the chicken with onion, with fried onions, with the tomato sauce and with some parsley. This is the time now that I'm gonna add all the seasoning to the chicken, which is gonna be our filling for the coxinhas. So I'm just gonna put some oil in the pan. The onions. Now that the onions are starting to become transparent, let's put the chicken in. Now that I mix the chicken and the onions, I'm gonna get one spoon, I don't know how this big spoon is called in Portuguese, in English, I do know how it's called in Portuguese. So I'm just gonna use one spoon of this and put it here in the chicken. I hope you guys didn't find the broth too cumbersome because that's all the use we're gonna get from it. No, just kidding. We're gonna use it again, so don't worry about this. Now I'm gonna add the tomato sauce to it. Now that everything is mixed together, I'm going to add all the seasoning to, to the filling. So remember, always cook the chicken with low heat. So after you, you are done frying the onions, turn the heat to low and then add the chicken and everything else. and the parsley. Remember, I'm not gonna use all the parsley right now because I'm gonna use some for the dough as well. So I'm just gonna put a few here. And the, after I add the tomato sauce, I, t I turn off the heat and now everything is just the temperature that it was and I'm gonna start mixing them again after I put the seasoning. Now that everything is, is mixed together, I'm gonna bring back the same pot that I was using before. I'm gonna put all the chicken here with the sauce, with the seasonings and everything. I'm gonna bring it back to this pot. And now I'm gonna bring a very special guest. Are you guys ready for this? This is something that is love by all Brazilians. 
whoever you ask, they love this. And this is catupiry. This is a cheese that you can only find in Brazil. Uh, to get this in New York, I had to go to a Brazilian store and still everything is in Portuguese because it's imported from there. So this is kind of like cream cheese, but not really. So I'm going to use this in the coxinha. Most coxinhas you find in Brazil, they have this and my coxinha is going to have this. So the traditional way or not the traditional way, but the most common way you can find coxinhas, you have like a splash of catupiry in the bottom and then you have the filling on top of it. But here we're going to make it different. We're going to put all the cheese here in the chicken and we're going to mix everything together. So every bite that you have is creamy and delicious and amazing. I'm, I'm mouth, my mouth is watering right now. Everything is, the smell is so good. I'm so excited for these guys. So let's do this. So when I went to put the katupiri here, I noticed that there's some water in the chicken. Not everything has evaporated, so I'm gonna take this off because if the filling is too wet, it's gonna break the dough once I start to fry. So I'm just gonna take this, take the water off. It's gonna be off camera, but I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. So I'm just gonna add a bit of cream cheese, a bit of katupiri here, and I'm gonna mix it up, then I'm gonna add more. Because if I add everything at once, it's going to become very hard to mix. So I'm not going to do that. Remember guys, this katupiri is totally optional. If you guys don't want it or can't find it, it's all right. The coxinha is still going to be very good. Now that our delicious filling is ready, I'm going to put it in the fridge just while we prepare the dough. Okay, so now we got to the final, well, almost final part of the recipe. Now I'm going to start making the dough. So. For the dough, I'm going to use everything that I have here. This is what we have from the broth and some of the water that I took out of the chicken as well. And flour, parsley and butter. So now I'm going to add the butter into the pan to melt it with the broth. Now I'm going to add the broth. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here because otherwise the dough will have none. And remember guys that I said that you don't have to use broth. So if you're gonna use water, this is the time that you're gonna use the water instead of the broth. The dough is gonna be a little bit bland, but that's all right, it's still gonna taste good. The parsley. And now I'm gonna add the flour. So before I add the flour, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna use a fouet to mix everything. And I'm not gonna put everything all at once because otherwise it will start to create little chunks of flour and this will not be good in the dough. So I'm gonna pour a bit and then I'm gonna mix a bit.
So when the dough is like this, coming off of the pan, then this is a good sign. The dough is ready. So I'm gonna use this other pot here so I can leave the dough so we will cold, get cold sooner because otherwise if it's too hot, you guys cannot uh, play with it, right? So I'm just gonna leave it here until it, cold, it cools down a bit. See, nothing in the pan, the pan is empty. So now we're getting to the trickiest part in the whole process. Now we're gonna assemble our coxinhas. And this is very tricky because if you put the, if the dough is too thick, it's gonna be bad, a bad feeling when you eat it. And if it's too thin, it's gonna break once you fry. So you gotta be there in the, in the middle, but it's very tricky. So after about five coxinhas, you're gonna get the hang of it. So don't worry, it's very difficult in the beginning, but then it's gonna be all right, I promise you guys. I'm gonna get some of the dough here. I'm gonna make a little ball in my hand. And remember, you can make your coxinhas the size you want it. So in Brazil, we have in parties like this big, or if you go to a bakery, you can find it this big. So you can do whatever you want, right? So just grab some dough, make it in the shape of a ball in your hand, then you start to poke it in order to open the dough for you to pull the fill to put the filling. Remember, not too thick, not too thin. And be generous on the filling because if you have a coxinha with no filling you're gonna be frustrated so don't do that to yourself so once you put the filling in you can pull the pieces to the top remember I said this is tricky this is tricky now you can put it all together and this is gonna break. <laughs> Trying to stuff the feeling back into the coxinha. Well, let's see if I can still save this. I'm gonna take some of the feeling off. Put it back here and attempt to close this one. And this should be something like your final result. This looks like a coxinha who was hit by a truck, but still tastes good, hopefully. Guys, now I have all my coxinhas done. Well, at least the assembly of them. I still have to bread them, but I was able to make 15 coxinhas of different sizes, but for now, we're gonna bread the coxinhas and then we're gonna fry it after. Guys, that's it. After almost eight hours of shooting and cooking and everything else. No, just kidding. It was more like two hours. So this is the final step. We're gonna fry our coxinhas 
Finally. So let's have it. Remember, you have to test the oil. It has to be very hot. So there are a couple of ways to test it. You can use a match. You can put a match here and if it lights up, then it's good to go. Or you can try with some dough. When you put it here, if it starts to bring bubbles, then it's also good to go. Because if you don't put the coxinhas in the oil when it's hot enough, your coxinha is gonna be very oily. It's gonna be dripping oil and you don't want that, okay? So before we show you how the final result looks like, don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, to follow us on Instagram, and to leave a comment down below. Are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> guys, this is coxinha, and this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. I have it three different sizes here party size party size again and party size again just oh, oh. <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm too excited for this because this is coxinha it's been like i don't know maybe six months since i had let this last so today is definitely gonna be a blast i hope you guys come with me and watch how i made this because this is amazing and you're gonna like it. So let's dive in. I'm gonna start with the larger one because you know, oh, before, before I bite into this, I must tell you, there's a lifelong fight between Brazilians. Should you start at the top? That's the right way. Or the bottom? It depends probably on where you're from in Brazil. But let me tell you, the right answer is from the top. But I can see that my director is disagreeing right now. Well, too bad she's not on camera, so I'm gonna start at the top. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so good, seriously. As I said, it can be too thick or too thin. So when you're assembling your coxinhas, be sure to mind this. I have on one side of my coxinha, it's kind of too thick, but on the other side, it's just perfect. Anyway, it doesn't matter because this is amazing. With the cheese, with the catupiry, oh, this is to die for. So. <laughs> If you guys like it hot, I like it. So I'm just gonna brush it in the pepper here. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna finish this. Whoops. I'm gonna finish this and finish the video. And this was amazing. So I hope you guys liked the video. Take a picture when you make this recipe because I know this one you guys are going to make it. And this was Brazilian Kitchen. Até logo!